from Frozen to Feast. Let's do it. I'm Juni the Orange Huntress and welcome or welcome back to my channel where we bring the hunt home and the wild inside. If this is your first time joining me, I'm so glad that you're here. I can't wait to show you the food we are gonna cook today. I'm gonna show you how to make a venison roast from Frozen. Frozen! I know, right? It's wild and it is so good and tasty and tender. Oh, all the things you desire from a roast. If you want to see all my tips and tricks for how to make it in your instant pot and how you can get your family involved in the process. Stick with me and let's get started. I'm so excited to share this recipe with you, but I want to let you know that it's going to take just under two hours to actually make this meal. 10 minutes to prep, 30 to 50 minutes for your pot to pressurize, 50 minutes to cook, and about 20 to release the pressure and let your meat rest. Just wanted to give you a heads up if you thought this was going to be instant. It's not necessarily instant because you're working with a frozen piece of meat. So let's get started. I chopped up my onion into small squares. You can leave slices however you want your onions to be. Just do it your own way. Take them, pop them in the bottom of the pot, and your roast is going to sit right on top of that. I have a three or four pound frozen venison roast and I cut the silver skin off before I froze it so that I could do frozen meals and I don't have to worry about that. Next, I'm cubing up four russet potatoes. That's what I had on hand. I actually prefer white fleshed potatoes, just my preference. You can use whatever you've got, but I cut them into one and a half inch cubes. That way they're not gonna break down as they're heating up. A tip also that I learned from this recipe was to layer your vegetables like this. Your onions, your venison, your potatoes, carrots, and then celery, because the carrots and celery break down a lot more than the potatoes do. I cut my celery up into two inch pieces, which made about a cup and a half of that. And you probably noticed Eli and Oliver cutting carrots. They were so pumped to help with this recipe. I add one can of cream of mushroom soup into my bowl, a heaping tablespoon of minced garlic, and two cans of beef broth. You can choose to only do one can if you prefer, but I chose to do two. I wanted more sauce and I had so many vegetables. Onion soup mix. We love the flavor that this gives to the vegetables and the venison. And Worcestershire sauce, two good tablespoons of that as well. Then you can add salt and pepper to your liking. I used about half a teaspoon, so you can use half to a whole teaspoon of each of those. Now I'm cutting up the carrots that the boys so wonderfully peeled for me. I cut four carrots into two inch pieces. The only thing I would have changed with the carrots was to not cut the thicker part in half. So I have all my vegetables in my instant pot and I pour the liquid over top, making sure that I get all the rest of that garlic out. I set the pressure cooker setting for 50 minutes, which I find works really well for a three or four pound roast. This position is open, that position is closed. Be sure your valve is closed or there will be no pressurization. Once your roast is done, let it depressurize for about 10 minutes naturally, and then come in with a wooden spoon or spatula and lift or press it to get rid of the remaining steam and pressure. And there you go, it's gorgeous. I pulled up my venison roast, it looks amazing, along with the vegetables, and I'm gonna let the roast sit for 10 minutes. I select my saute feature to heat that liquid up so we can make a nice sauce. I chose to shred the venison with a couple forks today, but you could cut it into slices if that's what you would prefer for your family. That sauce is coming to a bit of a boil. Now I'm gonna make a slurry of two tablespoons of cornstarch and a quarter cup of cold water. I add that and stir it up and see how the liquid is thickening. I ended up using all of it because I wanted it nice and thick like a gravy. I pop that meat back in, 
pass the phone to my daughter who is videoing for me and um, voila, here's our savory, tender, tasty frozen venison roast from an Instant Pot.